The coldest air of the season is arriving to the Gulf Coast. Tuesday night, there's a freeze warning, and what that means is for the first time this season, most of us go below freezing. It's all about being prepared. Make sure you are safely heating your home and your property, and of course, take care of the people in your life, your pets, your plants. For most of us, it's not going to be an issue with pipes, but if you're in doubt, take care of those pipes too, especially inland. Now, this is not going to last very long. It's a brief cold snap going into late fall, into winter, and for most of us, snow is not an issue. It's all about the cold. So take a look at this forecast map. It starts at midnight, and what it shows, that thin band of rain in Mississippi into central Alabama, that's a cold front. And as the front moves toward the southeast, as you're sleeping, light rain will follow it. Notice, well to the northwest in central Mississippi, there will be some sleet, some flurries mixed in with that. But also notice around 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m., the rain pretty much falls apart. It's not going to be much, and the odds of seeing a little sleet mixed in are really small. It's not impossible, but the main issue, the main thing you need to prepare yourself for tomorrow is the fact that it is going to be a very cold day. And when I say tomorrow, I mean Tuesday, November 12th, after the wet weather in the morning, a strong wind kicks in. Now look at these temperatures. At midnight, 68 degrees. At 6 a.m., 52. Now that's not unusual, but typically the temperature rises about 20 degrees. That's not going to be the case. By 9 a.m., if you're in Mobile, Alabama, temperatures will be close to 40 degrees and they will fall into the upper 30s and basically stay there for the rest of the day. The sky will clear, we'll get sunshine, but it's going to be a windy, gusty day and it's going to give you a wind chill feeling like the 20s. Of course, if you're northwest of Mobile, it'll be colder. If you're in the Florida Panhandle, the coldest air arrives a little bit later. What's also important to notice here is after the sun goes down, temperatures rapidly go down, and many of us will be hovering around freezing by about 9 o'clock in the evening. So that's when the chill really sets in, and you're going to wake up Wednesday morning to temperatures in the 20s. North of Highway 84, lower 20s. Close to the beaches, upper 20s to near 30s. Again, that's why you have the freeze warning. Everybody has got to be prepared. Even tomorrow night, with a wind that won't be as strong, there will be an additional wind chill. And that means you've got to prepare to feel like you're in the upper teens for inland counties. And then, of course, lower 20s elsewhere due to the wind and the cold air. For a detailed forecast, no matter where you live in the United States, go to weather.gov. That's NOAA the National Weather Service, and you will get a specific forecast for your community. Stay updated, stay warm, stay safe. I'm meteorologist Alan Seals.